So here's the the roof section of the of one of these old sheds. These are one of our original ones that we had bought. And I had a comment on uh, Instagram asking where we get the plans. Well, what I did was when we bought these ones, we just copied this. They're pretty simple. Uh, just to uh, to even get the the slope of the roof, all they all the guy did was put a he put a two by eight and a, or a two by six and a two by eight. I have to go under there to see which order he did it in, but. Anyway, you just did it like that, and then you just put your 2x4s down, and, that, and then you get your slope. Uh, yeah, I just put a couple straps around it, and uh, a chain, and lifted it up here. And what I'm going to do is, when I'm going to, what I got to do is pull off, uh, pull off that plywood, and we're going to put our own plywood on it, treated plywood. I got to pull off, I did a, I cut this off with a power saw. The old wall and I'm gonna have to cut those off right to the top of the to the end cap of the wall there because we're gonna set it on the new wall so as you can see that's how it is it's pretty like there's nothing really wrong with the roof so that's why we saved it so that's what we're uh, gonna be trying to accomplish today Uh, we're probably going to get the two end walls done and then we're going to go feed cows. Cows just getting the bales all ready. So he doesn't have to drive so far back to the bale stack. So we don't have to wait so long for a bale to come to cut. So yeah, uh, let's get back to making the wall. Okay, so we got both side walls on now. Uh, I wish I had my GoPro. It's, I had it here, but it went dead. So Freddy thinks uh, he's just checking out the joins there, uh, seeing if there's enough room underneath. Uh, yeah, we, this is how we build the calf sheds. Uh, you gotta have uh, that six inches of uh, gap underneath, so when you move them, the straw can come out. But even then, it's still pretty hard. You have to lift them. Uh, I did make a mistake here. Two mistakes. One was we forgot to add the three eighths of an inch to cover this gap here, which is the fight going on there. Hey guys, settle down. Uh, it just looks. It just doesn't look quite right, but whatever. I'm not going to rip plywood off to uh, fix that. The other boo-boo was we have uh, holes drilled in to what we do is we put the pins through like this. I got a punch right here. Put them through then you hook a chain around and that's how you pull them. Put a chain around the other one. We got our pulling pins and we just keep them in the tractor whenever we want to move the sheds. Well. I made a mistake when we were nailing this wall on that the nail went right through. So I've been trying to chisel it out. Maybe I can break it, but uh, I bent it a little bit, so I'm going to keep trying. Usually what we do is we put the wall right about here, but because of the roof that we're replacing with an old shed that I saved the roof on it, we had to build it to this dimension. Uh, usually we build it 15, uh, 15.6 or something like that. <laughs> usually, yeah, usually we build about 15.6. And uh, this keeps uh, this side open. Usually we keep this much skid. Six, seven inches of skid on the outside of the building. Whereas here we have none. So that, that's how we've been building them. But with that roof that we're putting on that I saved, which is outside, uh, we had to build it like this, so it's either that or keep going from scratch. But basically, what we basically what we would do is we would right now, if we were keeping uh, building our roof on our own, right here we would put uh, a two by six and then a two by four, I believe. Yes. 
and that will give us our uh, 10 inches which would give us our slope down to then uh, you could use a 12 inch slope I a little bit more slope would be better but that's how we don't have any 2x12s ever cut so we always have a lot of 2x6 so we just do it like that and then what I do is I put blocking here 2x4s and then another one on top another one on top and this way that's where you nail your your uh, 2x6 and 2x4 to right across then we have the middle part measured out here and a beam goes up here and uh, that would be the middle of the shed so if you remember from my previous videos where we're spreading straw there into the sheds you'll see the, the middle section there with 4x4 four four in it uh, you'll see more when I put the roof in here how they built okay that's uh, that's all for part one thanks for watching uh, make sure you comment rate and uh, subscribe and click, make sure you click like Okay, so we got the back wall on. And the one sheet of plywood. And now we're just uh, getting the, the other skid in the correct width. Or he's doing that. Basically, this is pretty simple to build a cap shed. You put that wall on there back wall in there and then we're going to drop the roof on top if we can stop playing with the cats <laughs>